For those of you who keep asking me to email you the zip files for the source code in GitHub, this video is for you. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. Okay, this tutorial is going to be for people who are not familiar with Git, or Git, people new to programming, and people who would like to get my source code just to check that they haven't made any mistakes when following the tutorials. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use Android Studio to pull down the code from GitHub in the form of an Android project. And then I'll show you how to use a Git tag so you can see the changes related to a particular episode. And with that information, you'll be able to sync the code from GitHub to the particular tutorial episode that you're working on. Okay, so let's make a start. Okay, in the background here, you can see that I've got my YouTube channel page set up. So I'm just going to go to videos and let's not go to the, let's go to the second latest one. Latest one always have the latest source code, but let's say we want to get um, the source code from one of the previous tutorials, such as capturing a still image in preview mode. So I'm just going to click on this episode here and stop that. Now, there's information in the description, so hopefully if you've got questions, you read the description first. So I've already got the details of where to get the code from GitHub, so let me just go to the article post related to this video. I'm just going to copy and paste this in here, open up a new tab, paste that in there. And here we have the video here. If we just can scroll on down here, we've got a subtitle called Get Code. And in here, we've got two details. We've got an address, and we've also got what's labeled a tag. So let's focus on the address first. What you can do is you can just copy and paste this line here, which finishes in .git. So just copy and paste that. Now, let's go into our Android Studio. Here it's open here, so I've just opened it just to show up the project page. And what you need to do is to check out project from version control here, select that. And then go down to git, select git. Now the top line here, we can just paste in the address from GitHub. Next line down, we can keep untouched. This line here, you don't have to touch it, but I'm going to change the name of it just to be more applicable. I'll just call it camera to video GitHub, and then you just select clone. So what's happening now is we're now pulling down the project and all the source code and build configuration files and Gradle files and everything onto our local machine. And I'm going to select check out from version control. Would you like to open it? I'm going to select yes. And we're going to have to do the Gradle build configure, wait for the Gradle build configuration and all that stuff to complete before we move on. I'm just going to select no for remove VCS root. Okay, that seems to have completed. I just want to look at the project page here. So I'm just going to open it up here. And here's our source file. I'm just going to say, it's asking me for another build configuration file. I was, I'm not going to add that. Okay, so it's all open here now. But let's go back to the file here. So I've actually opened the very, when I pull down from uh, the, get, the code from GitHub, you get the very latest, which will probably relate to the very latest episode. But I want a slightly older tutorial because I'm following that. So I want to see the code related to that. Notice how we've got the tag here. So we can just copy and paste the tag called camera Two video still preview. Go back into Android Studio. Then down the bottom here, when you've got Git master, select that and then check out tag. And then just paste in your tag. Okay, you may have to 
do a rebuild of Gradle or not as the case may be. So we've now opened that so we're now in sync with that particular tutorial and before I try and run this on the device just to prove it works just let me show you something else here so you can see the code changes related to a particular episode. So if you click VCS, click on Git and what you need to be I'm just going to double check I've got the source file open because we need to check that applicable source file for version control. Go to Git, go to Show History, and we've got the history there. And as you can see, the latest one here, because we've got the tag tech checked out, is still capture image for preview sessions. So select that, then right click on that, and then show all affected files. So it's one affected file, then on the far left hand side we can go show diff, so select that. And what we can see here, we can see all the differences made on this particular tutorial. So you can actually check here, as a double check, to see all the changes made are highlighted with a green bar. So that's also another effective method, just to double check to see the code changes as well. Not only pulling them down, but to actually see the changes, which you can do using Android Studio. So let me close that, and I close that. And let's try running this just to prove that will work because this is just the standard Android uh, Studio build. All I've done is pull down the source code. So the same should work for yourselves. So let's just go and build that. Application's now started. Let me record that so you can see what's happening on the device. Okay, so first of all, what we've actually pulled out is the capturing still images from preview mode. So we're in preview mode, so we can just capture a still image. And as you can see, autofocus is locked. And that's what we implemented on this particular tutorial. And just to double check, let's do a recording as well. And the recording's working as well. So basically, we will learn how to use Android Studio to pull down Android projects from GitHub. We also learned how you could uh, sync to a particular revision, um, in my case a tutorial episode, by using a Git tag, and then how to view a particular change re related to a particular source file just to see the changes made there as well. And so this was mainly set up for people who um, are having difficulties in getting the source code and aren't that familiar with Git, but um, do have Android Studio installed. So that completes this episode. If you want to get notified of each time I release a tutorial, don't forget to click on that subscribe button down below. And surrounding me is all my social media accounts. So every time I upload, go to GitHub, upload a video, write an article. There's lots of stuff that happens in the world of mobile application tutorials. I make these announcements on my social media accounts. So you can select any of those from a PC if you're viewing from a PC. And it's directly above me is a link to the homepage of my website as well. So for each video I upload, there's an accompanying article that not only includes the video, it also includes the details of GitHub and also brief explanations of the code changes that I have made as well. Anyway, that's it for this one. Bye for now.